Okay, so now that I sliced all the uh, rest of that other side of, of the mango, look how much it is. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to uh, put it on here. I had to rearrange and put it a little tighter. I still could put it a little tighter because, look, there's a lot left here. But this is all I did. I took one piece and I kind of patted it and then turn it over so that the sugar side is up and then keep on just going on and on and on I thought this would be a good uh, um, snack you know it'd be a good snack without the sugar but every once in a while I need a little bit of sugar so and I thought the kids might like it so this is a little hard to look through the camera and to um, go back and forth so I'm gonna finish this up and show you what it looks like all right, so there you have it. It's all on their trays. I'm going to take it in the bedroom where I have the dehydrator set up and put it all together. Okay, so dehydrator's all set up. Yeah, that should probably be turned around so you guys don't think it's upside down, right? <laughs> yeah, I just got one of these little cheap ones from, uh, from I think it was Walmart. I don't know. Anyways, um, and I love it. Just saying. This is my special room for uh, my, some of my canning stuff. I'm moving everything back here now. And um, I am going to be hopefully putting another thingy uh, here for some more canning stuff. But right now that's just the overflow um, and I still have overflow that's why I need more shelves I'm gonna add more shelves in here uh, hello there well I am so excited I had two mangoes left I'm not sure if any more will drop and I decided hey I'm gonna try dehydrating these and um, seeing how they taste. Well, I cut up one, one over here, and it is plain. There's two trays of it. Friends, take it from me. You don't want to sit here and pick these and, and try to get them off. You want to make sure that you use the... Uh, um, I don't know let me show you okay so these are the um, fruit roll-up trays yes this is what I'm going to be using next time so that it will just pop off of there um, even if they're even if I slice them I thought I could get away with it this time but as you can tell these are really, really difficult to get off here, and they keep breaking, so I just have to keep picking them off, but, you know, I'm going to be eating them, so who cares, right, me and the grandkids, so I'll just keep on picking them, picking them, picking them. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you these. They turned out absolutely delicious. The ones with sugar and without sugar. I was really surprised. Um, I'm very, very happy that with these. So tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I am going to um, take some of the mangoes out of the freezer. And I am literally going to try to um, um, puree them. And maybe add, I might add a little bit of um, sugar and cinnamon. Not as much as I put on these. These are really sweet. They're good, but they're really sweet. 
so the kids I know will love them. And uh, I'm going to continue to pick these off for the rest of the evening. So, that's my, that's my take on it. Okay, y'all, this is, this is what I got. And it is absolutely delicious. I can't wait till the kids and Becky try it tomorrow. And David is uh, excited about it. Okay, so, I'm in here and I've got this set up. And it is going, I'll bring you back and show you how it turns out. But, also I wanted to show you. I am I am um, redoing my whole um, way I'm storing food. So as I was saying, I'm changing the the storage of my house, and uh, this room is going to be a guest room slash pantry. And I've just begun to put uh, stuff in here. I want to put shelves. Um, right in the middle of these shelves because these shelves are so tall that um, even even the um, big jars, the half gallons, they are not coming all the way up. So, make a long story short, I want to add shelves in these to help with um, more storage. And I have another one of these that I'm going to clear out one day and put it over here. So, and I'm storing some of my stuff on top of the uh, the freezer. This is my freezer. Anyways, that's just a little extra there. Okay, so yesterday I had a onion the size of a cantaloupe that I decided I was going to dehydrate. Well, this here is the um, uh, onion all dehydrated. Yeah, got half of a quart. But anyways, the funny thing about this is, take it from my experience, never dehydrate in the home when you have a real strong smelling onion because even with the ventilation the w the window was open in that room it is very hot here in Florida um, it was a very hot day I ended up having to open up the whole house because my eyes were burning and running and um, um, just sneezing and carrying on so I opened up the house. Well, that in turn caused me to get sick. So, take it from my experiment, experience. Uh, do not um, dehydrate onions that are real strong in the summer in a in a in a house. <laughs> Next time I'll do it outside. 